Okay, integers naman tayo. Okay, so again, recall yung integers natin. Nandiyan ang ating zero, positive integers, and negative integers. Um, kapag sa number line natin, asan siya ulit ang ating mga integers, itong mga discrete numbers or values dito. Zero sa gitna. To the left, nandiyan ang ating negative integers. Negative. To the right, nandiyan ang ating positive integers. Zero. Everything to the left, which is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 point something, pero hindi na yung integer. Pero lahat ng nasa left ng 0 is less than 0. Everything naman na nasa right would be greater than 0. So for example, if concerned tayo with positive 2, yung positive 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3 are less than 2. Okay? Lahat naman na sa right niya, which includes positive 3, positive 4, and so on, is greater than positive 2. If, for example, we say a 5 peso increase, it means plus 5 or plus 5 peso. So, ito yung mga practical applications na mababasa nyo pagdating sa problem solving nyo. So, similar lang din yung concept nito sa translating yung words nyo to number or algebraic form. For example, 32 degrees below 0, we have negative 32 degrees. Okay? So here, uh, i-discuss muna natin yung notations natin pagdating sa comparing and ordering integers. So if we have x equals sign y, binabasa natin ito as x is equal to y. Ibig lang sabihin nito, kung ano man yung nasa left side ng ating equation, pareho lang yung value ng nasa right side. Okay. Kapag naman nakaharap sa kaliwa, we have x is greater than y. Pag mayroon naman tayong greater than sign tapos may dash sa baba, that just, uh, that means na equal din siya. So, we say x is greater than or equal to y. Kapag naman nasa kanan nakaharap, x is less than y. So, pareho din. Kapag may dash sa baba, we read this as x is less than or equal to y. So, here, paano natin ito babasahin? x is less than 0. Okay, so pagdating sa number line natin, ano nga ulit pag less than? Nasa kaliwa o kanan? Nasa kaliwa. So, if we have 0, again, mapapansin nyo hollow yung bilog natin kasi hindi naman included yung 0. Okay, mas maliit siya sa 0. So, hindi natin isasama ang 0. Andyan siya, pakaliwa, to the left of your Zero. Ito yung reference kasi natin eh. Kaya x is less than zero. Ganda natin siya i-represent sa number line. Guys, sa mga hindi familiar dito o kaya hindi naturo ito, um, magtanong na kayo agad kasi important yung mga ganito pagdating natin sa functions ha. I mean, hindi naman natin siya gagawin na paulit-ulit na nasa number line pero kasi dapat na-imagine nyo or nagigets nyo yung ibig sabihin. So, kapag may tanong kayo, please huwag kayong mahiya sa chat box. Okay? Kaliwa po ba? Left? Yes, kaliwa is left. Guys, may Tagalog na question sa math, ha? In Filipino nila isistate yung question. Tapos kung may kaliwa, tapos hindi mo alam kung ano yung kaliwa. Mas malaki, greater than. Mas maliit, mas malaki. So, yun. So, mga mag-uupkat. Sana lahat kayo mag-uupkat kasi wala namang mawawala if you try. Next! Okay, so x is less than or equal to 0. So kanina, hollow yung circle natin. This time, we have a shaded circle kasi included na yung 0. So since 0 and less than 0 yung ating tinitingnan, papunta pa rin sa left. Okay? Pinakaiba niya lang kanina na sama na yung 0. Nakukuha ba to sa mga hindi familiar sa ganito? Next example, we have 5 is greater than x, greater than 1. So kapag... Familiar ka na talaga sa mga ganitong notation. Isang tingin, alam mo na na it's between 1 and 5, yung values ng ating x. Pero kapag hindi, tingnan natin siya part by part. First, let's look at 5 is greater than x. So, 5 is greater than x. Andiyan ang ating 5. Hollow kasi walang equal sign. 5 is greater than x. Greater. So, saan mapupunta? Left or right of 5? Okay, baka feeling ko may mga malilito dito lang na pag hindi familiar. 5 is greater than x. Left or right? Okay. So, ito guys ha. Kanina alam ko sinasabi ko, pag greater than siya, mapupunta siya sa right. Pag less na, mapupunta sa left. Pero kasi yung tinitingnan mo dito is 
your reference point is 5. Okay? Pero yung mga values na inaalam mo is values ng x. So, when you say 5 is greater than x, parang sinasabi mo din na x is less than 5. Nakuha niyo ba? Um, Justin, nakuha mo ba? Okay, nakuha mo yung idea, di ba, na 5 is greater than x. It's the same as saying x is less than 5. Kasi concerned tayo sa values ng x eh. So, since x is less than 5, papunta ito sa left na 5. Okay. Huwag mahiyas magsabi na kunwari kahit inexplain ko na tapos hindi pa rin na-gets. Huwag lang kayong umuo just because feeling nyo dapat na-gets nyo na ha. So, kapag hindi nyo pa rin na-gets, ask nyo ko na i-explain pa ng mas maayos. Okay? So, since ako na natin yung 5 is greater than x, tingnan naman natin ang x is greater than 1. Okay. Nathan, ulitin ko ha. Para rin sa ibang nako-confuse. Ang basa dito is 5 is greater than x and x is greater than 1. Okay? Alright? Nakuha ba, Nathan? Okay. Now, let's move on sa x is greater than 1. Since x is greater than 1, nasa kaliwa o kanan ito ng x? Nasa kanan. Kasi x is greater than 1. Mas malaki siya dapat sa 1. So, papunta siya sa kanan. Okay, so may dalawa tayong arrow dito. Ibig sabihin ba niyan, tuloy-tuloy lang tong arrow na to. Pakanan, itong isang arrow, tuloy-tuloy lang ba pakaliwa? Hindi, kasi 5 is greater than x, pero at the same time, dapat x is greater than 1. So, ang intersection niya is this graph. Okay? Nakuha ba kung paano naging ganito? So, this represents yung 5 greater than x, and x is greater than 1. Okay? So, in other words, yung value ng x natin is between 1 and 5. So, dito, um, take note lang na another notation or, or another na pag present pagdating sa line graph, kapag meron kayong nakikitang parenthesis, ibig sabihin nun hollow circle. Kapag naman bracket, ibig sabihin nun shaded. So, parenthesis, ha hollow or hindi kasama. Bracket, ibig sabihin shaded or included. So, negative 2 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. Okay. So, again, tinan muna natin part by part. Negative 2 is less than x. Or in other words, x is greater than 2. So, yung x mo is nasa kanan or right ng 2. So, ganito yung magiging line natin. How about x is less than or equal to 3? Ganyan naman siya. So, again, remember, shaded circle. And then, since x is less than 3, nasa kaliwa siya, or nasa left siya ng 3. So, again, ang intersection ng dalawang to would be something like this. Take note na negative 2 is not included, pero yung 3 mo, included siya kasi may equal sign siya dito. So far, nakaka-follow pa ba? Okay. So, pinoint out ni Ivan sa chat, parenthesis of negative 2, comma, 3 bracket, close bracket. So, ibig sabihin nun, ay, yung negative 2 is hindi kasama, tapos yung 3, kasama siya. So, here we have, negative 2 is greater than x, or x is greater than 2. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, yung values ng x mo could be yung graph ng negative 2 is greater than x, or it could also be x is greater than 2. So, paano to? Isa-isahin natin. Negative 2 is greater than x. Okay, so another way of saying this is x is less than negative 2. So, since less than siya, nasa kaliwa ng negative 2 or nasa left ng negative 2 ang ating x. Okay, how about x is greater than 2? Since mas malaki ang x sa 2, nasa kanan or nasa right siya ng 2. So, ang magiging graph natin is ganito. Okay? So, kanina we have intersection. Uh, Juliana, babalikan ko yung tanong mo ha. Saglit lang. So, dito, ang values ng x natin would be negative 2 to negative infinity. Okay? Dito naman sa kabila, ang values ng x natin would be 2 to positive infinity. Okay? So, kapag tinanong ka dito, sige, alam kong baka yung iba hindi maka-relate pa pag hindi nyo naalala yung lesson. Pero pag tinanong ka kayo dito, what is the domain of your x? So, ang domain ng x mo would be parent, uh, open parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, negative 2, close parenthesis, um, union, kasi or, kaya union, of open parenthesis, 2 
comma, positive infinity, close parentheses. Okay? So, sa mga hindi na-gets yung sinabi ko, i-discuss rin naman natin. Okay? Yung mga ganung notation. Minimension ko na lang rin ngayon. Why? Kasi minsan, mindlessly natin itong inaaral. Tapos pagdating sa next lesson, sabi natin, ah, okay, ibang lesson naman ito. Ang hirap naman, pero hindi natin nakoconnect. So, kaya, minimension ko na rin from time to time yung mga related lessons para alam nyo yun, yung babalikan nyo. Pero, ah, oo, na-mention mo na related to. So, guys, sa mga tahimik, nakaka-follow ba? Um, may nagtanong kanina, what, what's the parenthesis and brackets for? Okay. So, yung, yung parenthesis natin, um, another way lang yon of saying na hindi kasama yung number. So, for example, hollow dito, parenthesis siya kasi yung numbers na sinusulat mo, hindi siya kasama sa domain or hindi siya kasama sa possible values ng x. Okay? Pag bracket, kasama siya or included siya. Nakuha ba? Yeah, Lexus. Pwede naman i-flip. So, di ba, hindi nyo naman, hindi nyo naman alam ko anong notations ang lalabas sa exam. So, kaya, binavary-vary natin. Okay? Nakuha ba, Juliana, kung para saan yun? Yeah, yun nga. Depende sa convention ng exam. So, actually, dapat familiar talaga kayo sa, i-discuss ko din yun. Ang dami lang talaga, kaya minsan, kung marami kayong natatanong, kasi syempre, kayo sobrang lawak ng math. Okay, so, hindi ko siya masasagot sa isahan parate. Pero correct yun. Um, depende talaga siya sa convention ng exam. Okay, so, ang absolute value is the distance of the number from zero on the real number line. So, basically, i-ignore mo lang yung sign ng ating numbers or ng ating integers. So, for example, meron tayong negative 3. Ang distance niya from zero is 1, 2, 3. Okay? How about itong 3? Or positive 3. Ang distance niya from 0, zero is 1, 2, 3 din. So, as you can notice, if you have negative 3 and yung additive inverse niya na 3, ang distance nila or ang absolute value nila is just equal. So, we have negative absolute value of negative 3 is just equal to positive uh, absolute value of positive 3 equal to sa 3. Okay? So, ganito lang naman to basahin kapag nakikita niyo tong dalawang vertical lines. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Okay? 